Hey everyone, this is Doug here at MDP again, uh, coming to you from the uh, Hartwell family farm uh, here in uh, southeast Indiana. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Z500 series uh, Husqvarna Zero Turn uh, commercial mower. Uh, today uh, we're kind of looking a little bit of the features, uh, benefits, and uh, we'll do a short little demonstration here on how the thing cuts and performs. So. Uh, stay tuned and we'll be back in a few to show you what this is all about All right, so here we are out on the farm. We're going to take a look at the z560 and see what you guys think uh, This is a really phenomenal unit. We've had a ton of luck of uh, people buying them uh, These are brand new for uh, 2018 season uh, so we've got about a year and a half worth of uh, compiled data now on how they perform, how they're holding up. Uh, we've got some with several hundred hours on them, and they're just uh, rock solid units. So we're really, really proud to represent uh, this product and uh, bring it to the uh, consumers and uh, buyers in our area. So uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, the unit I have here today is a Z560X. Uh, so that is the uh, top of the line commercial zero turn. Uh, from Husqvarna. So on this particular uh, model you're going to get uh, uh, 5400 hydro gear transmissions. So uh, 12 mile an hour ground speed out of those. Uh, this one is equipped with a 31 horsepower uh, Kawasaki FX921. Uh, so you're going to get a ton of power out of this unit. Um, and we have more engine options available in the X from either Kawasaki or uh, new for 2019 Yamaha. So we have some Yamaha carbureted units and some Yamaha EFI units available. Um, so uh, a little bit of the difference between the X and the non-X versions are uh, the X will come with a 7 gauge deck uh, shell versus the uh, non-X or the regular standard uh, Z560 V5 or Z554 um, or Z548. Um, those on the standard are 10 gauge. Uh, on the X series, it's 7. Uh, staying with kind of the deck, the uh, standard Z500 series uh, comes with a 10 inch cast aluminum spindle. Uh, it's still greasable, uh, but it is cast aluminum instead. Or if you step up to the X, you get uh, cast iron forks. So a, a significant upgrade there. Uh, the front tires on a Z500 series uh, still require air. Uh, X series, uh, Z500 X series, uh, those, those are flat free. The uh, seat on a Z500 series is just a standard uh, high back, high cushion seat. Uh, step up to the X-Series, you get a uh, nice suspension seat. So let's take a look at this X-Series and uh, I'm sure you're tired of looking at my ugly mug. So let's look at this mo beautiful mower and uh, I'll explain a little bit more. So like I said, this is a uh, demo unit. So um, it's not going to be perfect for you guys. So we're just keeping it real. Um, so you got uh, so here you can see the Z560 uh, emblem here on the front designating what model it is. Uh, you got the Husqvarna Professional. You got a uh, nice suspension seat with the high back. Um, this seat is really really nice. I kind of wonder and I don't have any uh, feedback from this but the uh, they cut out how the top of the seat is actually keeps you kind of cool uh, when you're when you're riding it so it kind of allows a little bit more air movement so sorry I'm trying to turn my microphone around here um, so uh, that's really really nice the uh, give me a second here guys Let's see if this makes uh, uh, audio quality a little bit better so some unique features uh, that Husqvarna has. Uh, the handles, I like this really nice, um, kind of clean look. Uh, the parking brake is actually built into the handlebars here. 
Uh, so actually when you pull those in uh, to, to start mowing, it'll disengage your parking brake. And just the opposite, when you're ready to set it, uh, fold them out like it is now, and it sets the parking brake. Really nice feature, saves one step of the mowing process. Um, see if we can see this. But underneath this uh, foot pan here, uh, there's rubber isolators underneath here. And that uh, keeps all the vibration out of your feet. So that's a really nice feature. Um, let's see, see a heavy duty caster, forks in the front that are reinforced. Uh, things are bulletproof. You could, uh, you'd have to try really, really hard to destroy those. Uh, this is the X, so this is the uh, seven gauge uh, mowing deck underneath it. Uh, you see you have the big uh, rubber discharge chute on the side. Um, you get uh, 10 inch cast iron spindles on this one that are greasable, uh, easily greasable from the top. So if we look, uh, lift this shield up, you see a nice big discharge opening. Uh, that is really, really nice when it comes to um, mowing grass that's wet, tall, and thick. It uh, dissipates and spreads that uh, grass out really, really nice. So for you guys here in the kind of northern half of the United States, you would really, really appreciate that. Uh, I got 24 12 by 12 uh, Carlisle Turf Masters uh, standard attire on this one. Um, like I said, this one's equipped with the FX 921 31 horsepower uh, Kawasaki. Uh, you see, just pretty standard, simple, um, um, normal stuff. Uh, you do have two six gallon fuel tanks on each side. Um, and what's really, really nice about the Z500 series, I'll show you here in a second, uh, is the fuel gauges. So uh, you see a nice uh, wear strip down along the bottom of the deck. Even though this is a seven gauge deck, they still reinforce it down along the bottom uh, all the way around. And these uh, caster or scalp wheels are really, really reinforced as well. So just a really well built uh, unit. See a nice step here getting on and off the unit. Uh, which is really nice. See, uh, one of our customers here in central Indiana was demoing this unit last year and put a few of their stickers on it. <laughs> so, um, so that's uh, that's kind of the gist of the uh, Husqvarna Z500 series. So let's kind of look at the instrument panel, what everybody kind of looks at every day uh, when you're running this. So here we see a fuel gauge. This is for the right hand side tank. Um, so I'll turn the key on. Can't really see it, but that one is flashing yellow. Uh, that tank's about out of fuel. Let's see if we get any better luck on this side. Um, so yeah, so you can see uh, this one's lit up all green, so that means it's fuel, uh, full of fuel. So you can see this one's got 120, might as well call it 125 hours on it. Um, so you can see kind of back around the engine compartment, you've got your hydro gear, um, standard uh, reservoir tanks. Uh, underneath the seat, it's a standard hydro gear 5400 that you guys are familiar with. Uh, it's got cooling fans on top and all that. That's about the only thing underneath the seat, minus the battery. Um, so back to the cockpit, you got the red PTO switch that turns your blades on and off. Got your throttle control. It's got this nice big uh, rubber knob on top. It makes it easy to grab a hold of. Uh, you got your key and your choke. Um, so, so let's. Uh, so, what do you guys think? This is a sharp looking unit. You kind of see it in its natural habitat. You know, it's been out uh, mowing and uh, getting getting work done uh, here out, out at the farm and all over central Indiana on demos. So. Um, one thing I did forget to talk about is the cutting height adjustment is really, really unique to kind of Husqvarna. So, um, so you'll see this pin has a knob or a little push button at the top. My deck's down, or I would show you. But you just push this little uh, pin in and actually pull the pull the uh, cutting height adjustment pin out, and then you can move it uh, to wherever you 
uh, like it. So, um, top pedal here releases the deck. Uh, bottom pedal is just your uh, assist to lift it up and down. So, uh, pretty nice looking unit. Uh, really, really well built. Uh, the 5 Z500 series uh, comes with an industry leading 5 year uh, 1250 hour warranty. Uh, this 500X uh, series uh, comes with a 5 year 1500 hour warranty. So for you guys that are may have a little reservation about, you know, you know Husqvarna is not really known for commercial stuff, uh, we get that. Um, and but you know these units have just proven to be rock rock solid and uh, we can all but guarantee that you're going to love these things if you come test one out so but you know i am a sales guy you know i can sell you on these things all day long uh, but it's really about performance and you know how this thing cuts and maintains so uh saying that let's set the camera up let's uh i'll mow a few strips here out at the farm and see uh, what you guys think of cut quality. So stay tuned, and I'll be back in a second.
guys don't know, you know, I have my own lawn and landscape company for 15 years. Uh, I've ran everything from green, yellow, orange, uh, red, you know, about all the colors. Um, and up until two years ago, I had never ran a Husqvarna commercial mower in my life. Um, once I got on one of these things and drove them um, at the dealer meeting, I was really impressed. Uh, but then when I got it in some grass and really started cutting with it, it just blew my mind. Uh, cut quality is just phenomenal. Uh, stripes unbelievably. It handles really, really well. The ride is really comfortable. Uh, you don't feel really any vibration in the seat or in your feet uh, when you're running it. So just a really, really solid uh, all-around good unit. And then couple that with uh, Husqvarna's 20% off fleet program that they offer for uh, landscapers and homeowners. You know, couple this Z500 or Z560 or 500X series uh, with two pieces of handheld and you get 20% off that package. Um, I mean, for instance, a Z560 X, or Z560 with a commercial grade string trimmer and a handheld blower, less than 7,700 bucks. I mean, that's just unheard of as, out of a commercial, uh, well-built, well-maintained, or well, well-built, well, well manufactured well thought out uh, machine to buy for less than seventy seven hundred dollars for not only the mower but also two pieces of handheld I mean that's a no-brainer um, so you guys that are landscape contractors here in central Indiana uh, we're having a lot of luck with those with you guys um, if, if we haven't been to your shop and we haven't had a meeting uh, set something up let's uh, let's really talk and and really dive into some numbers because even this Z 560 X uh, with a 31 horsepower Kawasaki suspension seat, seven gauge deck, uh, flat free front tires. Uh, I mean, you're still less than, way less, uh, or I shouldn't say way, but you're significantly under $10,000 for even this unit on fleet. Uh, just crazy, crazy good deals for you guys. Uh, I know, you know, when you're running some other red paint or green paint or uh, yellow paint or orange paint or whatever that. Uh, color preferences on your trailer you know a similarly equipped uh, unit is going to cost you um, easily two thousand dollars more than this so why uh, why do you justify spending that extra thousand couple thousand dollars um, you know Husqvarna has got a strong warranty five year 1500 or five year 1250 um, better than about anybody else on the on the market um, so why not take take a serious look let me bring it out uh, you can run it for a day or two uh, we can come out and see you uh, Todd from Husqvarna uh, commercial sales manager for this area um, we can bring you some good stuff out to try and uh, we would love to earn your business in, in this field so uh, enough talking uh, thanks for watching the video make sure you uh, like subscribe below if you have any comments um, Yes, this, this uh, video is biased. You know, we are proud to represent, if you saw our Instagram post from a couple days ago, we are proud to represent the two best mower brands in the commercial field uh, with Husqvarna and with the brand that's on my hat up, up above, uh, Toro. So um, we're, gonna be, uh, we're gonna be doing some videos for those guys as well. So stay tuned. Um, Thanks for watching. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, subscribe below uh, to catch future videos uh, like this one. And we're going to do some other fun stuff too. Uh, but like I said, we're just getting started. Uh, but I think you guys are really, really going to like what we have coming up. So thanks again. Uh, this is Doug at MDP, uh, Rushville, Noblesville, Indiana. And uh, give us a call. And with any questions or comment below, uh, we'll respond quickly. You can follow us on Facebook. Um, we have two Facebook pages for the two different locations. Uh, MDP Outdoor Solutions uh, slash Rushville uh, for our Rushville location. MDP Outdoor Solutions uh, slash Noblesville for our Noblesville store. Uh, follow us on Instagram at MDP Outdoor. And uh, we'll catch you next time.